Hello, welcome back to Duchess of Impact. Discover the stark realities of financial well-being and economic mobility in the United States, with a particular focus on the challenges faced by graduates with liberal arts degrees and student debt. If you're passionate about empowerment and understanding how to level up in the tech space and hear about the success stories of upward mobility, this video is a must-watch. Duchess Meghan is the wife of Prince Harry, and she is no ordinary princess. She is a mother at heart and a true humanitarian. She believes in empowering others to thrive. The Sussexes know that the technology industry is the world's largest wealth-producing industry. Technology is the world's largest wealth producer. So, the Sussexes know that it is crucial that young people from low-income backgrounds get access to tech jobs, so they do not get caught in a cycle or low-wage work. Black and brown people were disproportionately likely to make low wages. In his day job, Prince Harry is a tech executive at BetterUp. He knows all too well the impact of the technology industry and the rapid technological changes that sideline unskilled or underskilled workers. In this eye-opening discussion, we explore the widening wealth gap between educated and non-educated people. STEM and liberal arts graduates Learn why it's essential to address these disparities to ensure a brighter economic future for all. Marcy Lab School is focused on this huge market of 53 million working adults without a college degree and quickly getting them training so that they can get a job. We want to highlight the transformative impact of Marcy Lab School. We dissect the implications of this innovative training on education employment and upward mobility. Prince Harry and Meghan, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, stopped by the Marcy Lab School, a partner of the Archiewell Foundation, to meet the exceptional Fall 2023 fellows, gaining the skills to pursue a purpose-driven career in technology. It's education. I think all of us can stand behind the value and the importance of education, especially having access to it. But that access to it and what it is can now come in different shapes and forms. And you can still show up in the world in such a strong and valuable way. Even if you don't take the more traditional route, you're still taking a route of education that is going to be additive. That's the piece that's so, so powerful about the work here. With rising tuition costs and low graduation rates, traditional college options leave many young people especially those from communities of colour, with no degree, no path into a meaningful career, yet a huge burden of debt. 40% of people with student loans did not graduate from college or dropped out. College is simply too expensive, and students are in more debt than ever. Uncover the sobering statistics that reveal the struggles faced by liberal arts graduates. Non-technology careers have a difficult time in maintaining middle-class status and securing a better future for their children. We examine the factors contributing to this phenomenon, from lower educational attainment to student loans to lack of home ownership. The Marcy programme is a full-time 12-month-long programme. They have one academic major in computer science and software engineering. It pairs that academic major with a leadership component that is called a leadership development programme. And that's a combination of race and identity development coursework, financial literacy, civic studies, and all that comes together to form what we believe is a cohesive post-secondary experience designed to meet the needs of an 18 to 24-year-old who's looking for their main post-secondary learning experience. According to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, the median annual wage for workers with a bachelor's degree in a STEM field was $91,010 in 2020. The median annual wage for workers with a bachelor's degree in a liberal arts field was $65,220 in 2020. As a result, liberal arts graduates may have difficulty making monthly student loan payments. On the back end of the program, we have a partnerships team that goes out into the community in New York City and sources incredible technical career opportunities for our fellows. Marcy Lab School works with companies like Spotify and Squarespace and the New York Times. Companies like J.P. Morgan, WW, ensure that fellows ultimately land jobs that otherwise would require a four-year college degree. On average, Marcy grads earn about $106,000 per year within three to six months of graduating from the Marcy Lab School. Liberal arts degrees can be valuable, but they can also be expensive. Liberal arts graduates often have difficulty paying off their student loans because their jobs do not pay high salaries. 
they should look up to Marcy as the model for college and reducing or eliminating debt. Student debt is a major obstacle to home ownership for young adults. In the United States, the average student loan for a bachelor's degree is over $37,000. This debt burden can make it difficult for borrowers to save for a down payment, qualify for a mortgage, and afford monthly mortgage payments. Student debt has had a significant impact on home ownership rates. Between 2012 and 2022, home ownership rates among young adults declined by 20%, while student loan among this group doubled. Up to 20% of the decline in home ownership among young adults may be attributable to increased student debt. It is important to remember that home ownership is a major investment that can help people build wealth and equity. It can also provide stability and security for families. When student debt prevents people from buying homes, it has a negative impact on individuals, families, communities and the economy. Student debt is contributing to the decline in home ownership rates among young adults. In the United States, the home ownership rate for people under the age of 35 has fallen by more than 10% since 2005. The government could also help student loan borrowers save for a down payment and make it easier for them to qualify for a mortgage. As well as making college more affordable and student loan repayment more manageable to address this problem. This video is a call to action, emphasizing the need for collective efforts to bridge the gap in economic mobility and create a more equitable society for all. Join us in this essential conversation on financial well being and economic mobility. Share your thoughts and ideas in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe to our channel for more eye opening content. Don't forget to hit the like button, share with friends, and ring the notification bell to stay updated. Your engagement empowers us to keep spotlighting empowering stories that matter. Thank you for being part of the conversation.